Hi, this is a video um, um, in which we are going to use Hess's Law. Um, and Hess's Law is just another way to calculate delta H. Um, what we can do is we can, sometimes we don't know the delta H of a reaction, but we do know that the reaction itself happens in several steps. So then um, if we do this method, we can then figure out the overall um, uh, heat of reaction for the reaction. So um, here's an example of like a two-step reaction. So just like if you were um, making invitations, you know, for your grad party and you have, you know, the photo invitation and maybe a little slip in there with the directions or something RSVP. Um, it doesn't just magically go together, it's like steps. So maybe one person puts the photo card in, one person puts the directions in, one person puts the stamp on, and one person writes out the address. So a lot of chemical reactions are that way too. They don't just poof happen, but there's really a series of reactions that happen really quickly so you don't really see them, but they are kind of behind the scenes. So for example, my example here is if you have, um, you know, A plus B makes AB, then the AB product, um, so if this was my A, you know, this is my B, and then I make um, AB, but then I take that AB and I use it up right away again, it reacts. So, um, and then in the end, I end up with this molecule AB2. So the, this is called an intermediate because it gets made and then it gets used up again. So it's, essentially we can cross it out and then we can add the reactions together kind of like um, in algebra if we were adding so if i add i have the a plus two of the b's and then that would give me a b2 so that's the resulting reaction but that reaction maybe came from these two reactions happening so I can rearrange um, thermochemical equations and add together those reactions and their enthalpies to give me an enthalpy change for a reaction that I don't know. Um, this is just an example of a two-step reaction again. Um, if you have the, you know, so here we have nitrogen plus oxygen makes oxygen plus NO. Um, this this is our intermediate because then right away again it, it reacts with more oxygen and gives us NO2. So you don't have to be able to do this, but this is kind of a conceptual understanding using enthalpy diagrams. So the first step of the reaction is endothermic. Um, you can see that it's endothermic. And then the second one is exothermic. And then overall, if I add those... Um, you can see that if I add 180 plus negative 112, I'm going to get overall the enthalpy of the total reaction, the sum of those two, is going to be 68 kilojoules. So this is kind of showing you that process. So again, this is probably easier to see. That's your intermediate. Um, these oxygen molecules are also intermediates. Um, these molecules stay there. So then we just transfer everything down that didn't cancel. So um, these are the rules that we're going to use for Hess's Law. Sometimes we'll reverse chemical reactions. Um, if we do reverse it, like for this first reaction, let's say I decide now that the NO is my reactant and the N2 and the O2 are my products, then my delta H is going to change the sign. So it was positive, so it becomes negative. If it had become negative, then it, if it, sorry, if it started negative, it would have become positive. Another thing, and again, this will make more sense once we start applying it, but 
Um, if I have to multiply a reaction, the coefficients, so like this would become 6NO and then 3 nitrogens plus 3 oxygens, I would also then take that delta H value and multiply it by 3. So when I multiply 180 kilojoules by 3, I get 540 kilojoules. So I can multiply a reaction. The coefficients get multiplied, but also the delta H does. So let me show you an example of the one of these Hess's Law problems. So this is, I call this the target reaction. It's the overall reaction, but then these are below it are the sub reactions. Um, so what I do is I try to find parts, like I see the sulfur dioxide here, um, and I try to find that in those other sub reactions. So I see it's over here. Um, and then I'm also going to try to find, I see the sulfur, so I'm going to find that sulfur. So notice um, I'm not trying really to pair up the oxygen because it's in more than one reaction uh, of the subreactions. And then I also notice I don't ever see the SO3, but that'll kind of get taken care of. So what we do then is we try to really match these. So you can see that this is one mole of sulfur and this is two. So I would have to take that whole reaction and multiply it by one half. So if I do that, I would get sulfur plus three halves oxygen makes sulfur trioxide. And the sulfur is on the reactant side, so I don't need to reverse the reaction. Um, I do have to, though, take the enthalpy and also divide that by two. So when I do that, I get 395.2 kilojoules. The next, next reaction um, needs to be multiplied by one half because I only have one mole up here, but also needs to be reversed. So if I do that, um, I'm going to reverse it first. So I would have um, the, the 2SO3 as a reactant and the 2SO2 and the oxygen as my products. My delta H is going to reverse sign, so it would be negative 198.2. But now I'm going to multiply the reaction by one half. So when I do that, um, this would become 1, 1, and then 1 half. And then I would also take my negative delta H now, and I would um, divide that by 2. So I get 99, this changes then to 99.1 kilojoules. All right, so just to kind of recap, because I kind of had to pause my video. But anyway, so I first reaction, I had to multiply by 1 half so that my moles of um, sulfur were equal. And then I also then multiplied my delta H by one half. Um, second one, I had to reverse it and multiply it by one half. Um, so there I changed the sign on my delta H and then I also multiplied it by one half. So now I'm ready just to check. So these are kind of fun because you'll know right away if you did it right. So if you add them, our delta H is going to be 395.2 minus 99.1. So overall, that target reaction, the first reaction that was given up here, the one in bold, um, it'll have a delta H of 296.1, so it's endothermic. Um, and then if I add, um, before I add, what I do is I cross up my intermediates, and then I think I'm ready. So I'm going to just take everything that didn't cancel and bring it back down. Um, I'm going to take this three halves oxygen down and I'm going to simplify it a little bit more in just a second. So do you see how I have three halves and one half? So what I can do is subtract one half O2 from both sides. So this would cancel and then I would end up with two halves O2, which 
becomes 1O2. So I end up with sulfur plus O2 makes SO2, and that reaction has a delta H of 296.1. All right, so let me show you one more of these. 